Hey guys, it's Starkiller here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the positives of PSA graded Pokemon cards. So I've been buying graded cards in the hole for about a year now, uh, but collecting cards in the hobby from pretty much the very beginning when I was a kid, you know, getting basic packs, uh, trading cards in the neighborhood, uh, but now I'm just exclusively getting PSA graded cards. So for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you know I live in uh, Northern Ireland, uh, in the UK. And uh, there's not really any grading service here as far as I know, but uh, uh, from all the research and, you know, all the product, PSA is the number one gr uh, grading service for, well, for cards in general in the world. Uh, Beckett's, I think, number two, but PSA is the one I'm sticking with. Um, and they're usually quite accurate. Uh, quite consistent, but why get graded cards? Why do I get graded cards and why do the majority of collectors get uh, PSA graded cards? So I'm going to move on and talk about the positives of getting uh, your Pokemon cards graded and you know Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well, any type of uh, collectible trading card. So my first point is peace of mind. There's a lot of fakery going on with Pokemon cards these days. It's unfortunate, as with any other trading card and most other hobbies, you'll find some kind of fake. So if you buy an expensive card, you know, really, really like high-end expensive card, you know, there's always a chance it's going to be a fake. Um, now, usually you can uh, spot the differences between a real and a fake, but these forgeries are getting very elaborate, and you know, it's difficult. But especially for like new collectors, new beginners into the hobby. So I've got two Charizards here from Evolutions. One's, one is Japanese and the other one's English. Um, this one is real. I pulled it from a pack myself. But, you know, as I said, you know, if you're getting older cards and, you know, really rare cards, you wouldn't know. You know, you would, uh, you'd want that peace of mind. So you'd want to get the card graded and... Getting a card graded by PSA, you can look at its uh, certification number, and you look you can look up its number on the population report, and you know it verifies it's real. Um, some PSA uh, cases are are being faked, but the the main way to tell if it has been faked and if it's been opened is the case would be cloudy on the edges and inside. Um, but generally, if you buy from you know, a reputable seller on eBay or any other site, you know, buy buy the, from the reputable ones, the ones who have, you know, high positive feedback and the ones who've sold uh, graded cards beforehand. So that's the number one, that, well, that's the first point is peace of mind, security that the card is in fact genuine. So moving on to my next point is the value. Which card here, which Charizard from Evolutions here would you pay more for? Well, you pay more for the PSA graded one. Um, you know, I could say this one was gem mint. It's clearly not, as you can look at the bottom of the border. That's an off-center card. I pulled this from a pack myself, but yet it still has... Um, the top, there's a bit of uh, chipping there, which is unfortunate. Um, but that's the difference between the Japanese and English cards printed these days. This is a relatively new set, 2016. And Japanese cards are usually more, uh, they're printed better and you can get tens a bit easier. The value, you'd want to obviously get the graded card. Uh, you pay more of a premium for that. Um, you know, the, let's say this Charizard ungraded one was a 10. Um, put that on the market, ungraded, you know, mint condition against the 10 one and the 10 and the graded 10 will always sell for more, so grading your card will generally increase the value. Now that might spike up and down, you know, over time, but if it's a high grade, if it's a 10, a 9, an 8, you know, and it, depending on the rarity, you know, that's generally a high graded card is going to slowly increase over the years, so... Uh, Value, you want to invest in high-grade cards. And yeah, it's going to increase over time. 
So my final point for this uh, video is no arguments. So I could list this wheezing uh, from the Team Rocket set, Japanese. I could list that as a mint card, a PSA 9 candidate, PSA 10 candidate. And you get it back, you look at it, you know, it's pretty good. Um, you know, the back looks pretty solid. And then a series collector, or just anyone, you look and you'd see, you know, imperfections. You know, you'd see, oh, maybe there's a little nick down there. Um, this one is actually pretty good, but it does have a few, a few nicks near the bottom and near the top there. So you buy the ungraded card and then you, you look at it, have a close look, send it to PSA or just look at it yourself and know what kind of grade it would get. And you'd say, hold on a minute, that's not mint card, that's near mint at best. And then, you know, arguments with a seller would ensue and, you know, things like that. And near mint mint it's it's all it's all relative it's all kind of uh you know there should be base guidelines for that and there are but you know a near mint card to you could be an excellent or lightly play card to the next guy so that's you know it saves arguments grading cards saves arguments and you know again it ties into that peace of mind this is a graded set of seven venomoth hollow it looks to me like this card should be, you know, a strong 8.5, but it's a 7. Uh, and that's the way it is. It's graded 7, no arguments, put that online, near mint, venomoth hollow, and there you go. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, there you can see my WAPS binder, which was the background of the video. This was made in 2003. It brings back memories. But I'll definitely do more videos on my Pokemon card collection, you know, my rarest Pokemon cards um, in the near future, so that would be pretty interesting. I wanted to do that since, you know, starting getting back into the Pokemon TCG uh, in the last year, so definitely be doing more card, more videos on, on those cards in my collection, so I'll see you guys next time.